Good morning, good morning, good morning. Just picked up the papers. I put in an order for sunshine Saturday afternoon. Much to the amusement of the woman behind the counter. Still overcast. Still not very July. Not very early August. Fingers crossed day. At least we don't have torrential downpours forecast. So, how are you anyway? How are you, all right? Good. I was looking at the viewing figures for these videos and it's a bit confusing because obviously you've got people who get the, who click on the link in the uh, email that goes out to members and then other people who just uh, create a uh, follow follow the association on YouTube and then just click the videos on there. Although that is a bit tricky because they're unlisted, so you can't you can't search for them and find them. You have to, someone has to give you the link, and that's the whole point. Is the link gets sent out in the daily email? So, but um, I always wonder whether um, you know there is a topic to talk about every day because the average working year contains 200 working days if you don't work weekends if you do work weekends then you probably have to work on the basis of about 250 but because I don't it's about 200 so that's uh, that's uh, uh, 40 weeks isn't it five days a week but, and you may ask well where do the other 12 weeks go well the answer is that four to six of them go on holidays and uh, <laughs> or one to two of them in my case and uh, then you've got seven bank holidays and then you've got uh, you have to allow for like two weeks off sick um, so you know and then a few days when things don't work talking of not working this this uh, phone thing is glitching and it's a, it's annoying I think what happens is when it's recording video it doesn't because of historical limitations with the file system, it doesn't record the video as one massive file. It sort of splits it up into, you know, megabyte, multi-megabyte chunks. So it probably does like a megabyte, and then it and then it sort of stops and starts again. <clears throat> and it's supposed to stop and start seamlessly. And I'll have it on airplane mode, so I don't have anything else going on in the background. Or rather, there's no sort of uh, talking to the internet or Wi-Fi or anything like that and uh, I thought for a time that had solved the problem because I had lip sync issues and what happens is the video tends to stutter but the audio carries on so I end up with a video where the first half the, vo the voice matches the sound and the second half where it doesn't and to be honest with you that is a right royal PIA because uh, what you have to do is you have to cut the video in the middle and then try and see if you can salvage the bit that's been lost or at least cut it out and then you have to match the second half video up to the second half audio and so <clears throat> it will be so much better if I had a reliable camera that you know was dedicated to the job that just where it wasn't just like one of uh, another a number of things that this device does because I think even if I turn a, put it in airplane mode it's still doing things in the background you know it's still um, I don't know, it could be playing music in the background for all I know, you know. So, and yesterday it stuttered rather badly, and it was just a right pain, and I had to spend half an hour trying to sort it all out, and you end up with a jump cut in the middle of it and everything. Ha! Huh, listen to me, eh? Ripley Scott, Ridley Scott, Ripley, Ridley, Ridley Bodley Boo. <laughs> Talking about film directing. So, but I still, I won't pay for a GoPro 5, they're too expensive. They're about 300 quid. So I'm not gonna spend money on that, I'm just not. I will do. When I've just got over my, you know, because it takes the shakes out and I don't know what the audio processing's like. It's the, funny enough, it's the audio that's the most important bit. The best audio I ever had was on the, the Apple iPhone, I must say. But that's because that was designed for audio files and you know people who were creative types and they wouldn't 
put up with, uh, you know, the colour not being right or the audio being compressed or, uh, you know, or, or uh, lossy. And uh, I used to do audio podcasts using my Apple iPhone 4, and that was brilliant. The audio was, you know, just as good as any uh, 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 condenser mic. I've ordered some more stuff for the barbecue this weekend. I need, I've, I've, I've ordered an upgraded sound system because my little uh, Bluetooth speaker is not going to cut it. And I've ordered some big buckets so that we can put ice and drinks in them. And uh, what else? Oh, well, a few bits and bobs. The marquee's still not resolved, this bloody German company. They're messing me about, you know. We're getting to the point now where I don't think they could even replace the bits if they decided to. So I'm going to have to ring them up again today. And, um, yeah, so... I mean, they're so stupid. I mean, because I've got until October or something to return this blooming thing. And as uh, defective or, you know, not, you know, not doesn't work as advertised, etc. So they're just going to get the bits the mangled bits back in a box it'd be far better for them just to send me a few spares and not to have to refund the whole thing because Amazon will refund it and then they will deduct it from them so it's not like you know it's like when with, with the old uh, direct debits for the association if anybody asked for their money back the bank just refunded it and then just got it back from us they, we had like a 24 hour window to argue why we didn't think that we, it should be refunded and uh, and then and then if we missed that or they didn't accept our explanation then then that was it so so today let's talk about <laughs> let's have the talk <laughs> let's let's have the talk about the difference between men and women and in particular, men and women in the dental surgery. Because there is a difference, oh yes. Now, what on earth, if you're doing a checkup from the neck up, what on earth do gender differences have to do with anything? And the answer is quite a lot. And what you can do is you can save a lot of time if you haven't read this book, Men Are From Mars, Women Are From Venus, it was very popular many, many years ago. And now it's become a bit passe and people are like, oh no, I'm, you know, it's a bit like Stephen Hawking's Brief History of Time, have you read that? Um, which again, is an interesting book, you know, if you're into that sort of thing. Uh, but this, uh, I think the, 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 the Venus Mars book is, is really a, a management book. It's just compulsory reading for anybody involved in providing services to the public because it sets out in a very easy to understand and very memorable way the, the psychological differences between men and women and how um, you can run foul of them by uh, misunderstanding and effectively misdiagnosing a man as a woman and a woman as a man, etc. Okay, so what, what do you need to know? What's the day-to-day -day knowledge that you need to know? When people are coming to you, they've got toothache, they've broken a denture, they don't like how they look, etc. They're coming to you with a problem. And the way that men and women deal with problems is, is actually quite different. No, no one is better than the other, but they are complementary. The two are complementary because if you put the two uh, uh, approaches together, then you're pretty well guaranteed to find a solution. So let's start with uh, men first. <clears throat> men, if a man has got a problem, first of all, he will he will not want too many people to know that he's got a problem because men are because they're providers and uh, they are, you know, uh, they, they're sort of seen as the um, the hunter killers. <laughs> they, they don't want too many people to know that they've they've broken their bow and they don't know how to stick it back together again. <laughs> Or, or they've trapped a deer and they don't really know how to kill it. So, um, so what they'll do is they will um, keep their problems to themselves until they think, until they've sort of, not desperate, but until they've decided that they need to ask someone. They need some external assistance for this. 
and um, <clears throat> and this is I think this is why men don't go to the doctors much. You know, a man a man will wait until he's pretty sure he's got cancer before he goes to the doctor because he doesn't want to tell the doctor that he thinks that he might have cancer because that's a weakness. You know, he's he's uh, he's making himself look weak in his own eyes and others. And it's also why. <coughs> <coughs> excuse me well you shouldn't really offer to help men um, you know uh, if you if I'm if I'm struggling with something and most husbands and wives will recognize this if I'm struggling with something and um, my, my wife will say to me look you know uh, actually darling if you did it like this X Y Z whatever uh, you'd probably you'd probably fix that or uh, you know, or would you like me to come and help with that? <laughs> the worst thing you can say to a bloke, and and, and the answer will be no, because um, when a man gets an offer of help, an unsolicited offer of help, then he will uh, consider that an insult, in not an insult, insult, but an insulting, belittling, and. Uh, minimizing you know his abilities and and in sort of inferring that he's um, not capable and and generally um, uh, you know is has reached the limit of his very lim limited he's reached the limit of his abilities and 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 it's apparently obvious to everybody and uh, so that's why men don't really welcome unsolicited offers of help now if once a man has decided that he needs help and that he can't solve this problem then he'll go to someone and he'll go to the person who's the best person to ask he will out of everyone he knows he'll think which one person is the best person you know ask a friend who's the best person to ask and so uh, and he'll go to that person with a very very specific request he'll say uh, you know I'm putting up a shelf and uh, I need uh, some screws what is the best screw for putting up a shelf? And if the person says, oh, you're putting up a shelf, oh, well, would you like some help? I'll come round and help you put the shelf up. He'll go, no, <laughs> don't, don't insult me. All I need to know is the screw size. Please, can you just tell me the screw size? And so if you tell them, if a man, so if a man comes to you as a dentist and asks a question, then he's going to, He's, be, he's going to be looking for the answer to a very specific question like uh, how do I replace this tooth um, what uh, why are my gums bleeding and so you can be very specific with men and uh, limit really your answer to um, to the question now when when women come in women are motivated entirely differently when they have a problem that's because their problem solving mechanism is no worse or no better it's just completely different and the way that women um, solve problems is by thinking about them and that's because they are the sort of problems that they've got are more amenable to to thinking uh, because they are to a certain extent they're more emotionally driven rather than logically driven and that's that's good because they a lot of the work that they do is emotional in, in that they're the nurturing and the caring side of the partnership and so uh, no, a, a typical a woman's problem typically would be you know to what extent should I make friends with someone or uh, to, to you know how how much uh, you know sh should I let my kids stay out after such and such an hour etc and um, really when they um, what they will do is they all want to talk about the problem with someone and the whole point is that they are not really looking for you to tell them the solution and in the same way as if you uh, ask a man if he wants help unsolicited offer of help is going to annoy a man an unsolicited solution to a woman is also annoying because she basically wants to discuss it so she can get things clear in her own mind the solution in almost every case with a woman will come from within it won't come from now I'm not saying that women don't want help or need help and that women can make their own dentures and stuff like that but what I'm saying is that they really don't appreciate you telling them straight away what you think that they should do so if you say um, you know if a woman comes along and says um, oh it's difficult to think of examples on the fly 
but um, but basically, um, you know, they'll say, oh, we've got a problem on Saturday. Oh, so, so, you know, so and so wants to come over, and I've got to get the shopping done, and uh, um, you know, and, and a variety of sort of contradictory things going on. Um, what a man will do, a man will assume that she is coming to him like a man really with a very specific problem which is a scheduling problem on Friday and he will then say well straight away I'll say well I, I can't see I can't see your problem <laughs> you know I don't see why you, you keep going on about you're going on about this so much it's it's quite obvious that if you go to Tesco's at half past eight Tesco's and back takes uh, 90 minutes and then you can drop down and get so and so and, and the problem solved and that that is not the problem solved really from the point of view of the woman because actually she wants to decide for herself how, what's the best way to handle it and so she will almost be thinking out loud and and discussing um, um, you know and discussing the, the problem and deciding on things about and the, and the decision we make not on logical grounds but on how she feels about it she'll feel good about and it will be a logical solution but she'll feel good about the logical solution and she'll feel bad about the illogical solution and, and I'm not saying that you should never suggest anything to a woman but the best thing best thing to do is to listen for a bit first okay just listen for a bit first okay and then and you can respond with things like um, yeah I can understand that 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 is a difficult problem you know I can I can see how you feel about that see that why that's upsetting you a bit or I can see why that would be upsetting to have no teeth you know and don't just say well well why don't you just have some new teeth <laughs> So, and if you use the right language with the right gender, then you'll get on so much better. It's absolutely no use talking to a man as a woman. Uh, and it's no use uh, talking, treating a woman as a man. They really will not, they'll, they'll get annoyed that you're, you don't understand them. Um, that, uh, but, but on the other hand, if you do understand them, and you do talk to them in the manner in which they're expecting to be responded to, based on their gender then then immediately without really without them noticing without them knowing what you're doing you will immediately create that sort of empathetic um, relationship with them so so you know so a woman who comes in who's who's got a very poor appearance of her teeth will uh, you know I mean the correct approach is to say uh, you know I can't you know that, that must have been very difficult for you to have walk, walked around for 15 years not being able to smile at your grandchildren and they'll go yes they'll go yes but if they're a man they won't go yes they'll go yes <laughs> so what, what's the answer so what's the answer <laughs> so and that I mean you know there's more there's much 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 more to the book than that I mean uh, but if you are not familiar with the psychological differences between men and women, then, then do get this book. I mean, it doesn't cost much. That, that the uh, Venus and Mars book, The One Minute Manager, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People by Covey, all of these really are, they're, they're light reading. They got, they're written for Americans, for God's sake. I mean, they really are quite understandable. And uh, you can... You can you can read them all in a week, but uh, and you'll have them on your your bookcase. Get yourself a yellow marker and just mark up the bits that which are interesting. If I can think of any more sort of interesting things that relate to um, dentistry and and gender differences, then I will cover them. I think there are a few other bits and bobs, you know. But um, that's the most important one. All right, just remember that men men come to uh, the dentist for a solution the women come to discuss the problem <laughs> and the solution the solution arises out of the discussion okay so don't don't rush the women and don't hang about with the men okay all right i hope that's useful anyway i'll um, talk to you tomorrow bye